All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to face grab boot menu and then boot order for multiple operating systems. So for dual boot, right, or multiple boot. So what we did is still on our journey on trying to learn about Proxmox, right? And then building our own home lab. We have a mini PC and then we have Windows already on it, but we have partitioned it and then we have installed Proxmox and then Kali. So this is another scenario. So we have Windows on it, Proxmox and then Kali, right? But once you do that, sometimes you'll not be able to see any of these systems. So the first way is to face the grab menu, boot menu. And how do you do that? You first use this particular step. So first you just go into your Kali or Proxmox. You do sudo OS proc proba to detect all the OS. And then you once you're able to notice and identify the OS, that means it's working, right? So the, the grab boot menu is working. Perfect. But in case it's not working, you have to go into your default grab and then change this one to false and then update grab. And then you can be able to see the menu. That is solution for for the grab menu not showing. The second issue is that after you have done this, you cannot see this one, right? So let's see how to fix this issue. So in order to fix the boot order not loading, I will show you the issue and then we will start working on it. So I'll go back again to my Kali, right? So as you can see, I hope you can see it well. So I'll switch to the full screen here so you can see it. So this is it, right? So I'll just go here, apply. And let's close it. So I hope it's clear enough for everybody to see. Now, the first thing that you just have to check and then do this, as I said, and then you enter your password. And then this is going to list them. And as you can see from here, we have all the two operating systems there. So let me make it bigger. Seems it's still too small. Let's make it 20. Let's make 20, right? 20 is better. Okay, apply. Perfect. And this is okay, right? So everybody can see. Now, as you can see, once we do the OS proper, you can see that we it was able to detect Microsoft, right? And then Debian for the Proximus. So it's able to identify these things. So that means that the boot menu works. In case it does not work, you have to just go back here to, as you can see from here, right? So grab menu and then check for this particular word. So grab disable OS proper and then ensure that it's uncommented and then it's false, right? And then once you do that, you just come down here and then you just update. You run the next command, which is the update as you can see, right? You run this one and this is going to up update it. And as you can see, once it's updated, it's able to identify all the different operating system on our system, right? Perfect. So this is the first issue. So this one works perfectly well. Now, this is working. So if I exit this one here, and then let's go out of this, I'll shut down the PC. And once I shut it down, let's try to load. So I'll click on my start button. And once I start, you could hear the sound. It was automatically boot straight to Windows instead of booting to the grab menu. So why is it doing that? Why is it not fixing? So the grab menu works as you can see, right? So this now is moving straight to Windows. So how do you fix it? So the first one is, how do you ensure that it does not move straight to Windows? So we just go back here, shut down. Right, so now once I shut down, I will start it again. So I'll click on, the first one is I'll click on my, this is the first solution. You click and then I'll go to escape. I start the PC, I'll go to escape. And then I'll just try and go to, this, the simplest solution is just go to escape, go to your boot, right? And then you check the boot order, right? Ensure that this boot order is first. So as you can see from here, USB first, hard disk first, and then Windows. This is one of the ways. This is the final solution right then move to the uefi this particular is this system here 
click on it and then you see the order here right so this is the order that is determined how fast your system is going to boot and the priority of the order from the bios option then i'll just change it from here and i'll click on here and then choose the order i want so i'll just change it to kali right and then once i do that i'll just go back go to save and then let's save it so if i save it and it restart now it will boot automatically and as you can see from here we see that the grab menu works so you can see kali is working the windows uh, boot manager is also working dbn is also working right for proximus so the boot the grab boot menu is working after the update grab is working as you can see and then the boot order priority is also working so it's automatically booked to kali and then now i can select the system so i can move to proximus and as you can see it's opening to proximus or i can move outside of this place to windows right So this is how to fix the issue, right? That you have now. I can just move to this and then log into my Proxmox, or I can just move on to the next one. Perfect. So let's exit from here and let's go back to our not how to fix the issue. So the first one is you check the graph menu using this approach. So you detect all OS, and then you check your etc default graph and ensure that this is correct. And then you do sudo update grab. So this will allow you to see the grab boot menu. Then in case you want to check the priority, the simplest solution is to go with go to your BIOS and check the order as we did earlier on. Or you can just use this approach. You can just go to sudo EFE boot manager and then you can stretch it. So I can change it to since my Prosmos is there, I can show you an example. Uh, you can see that I was Googling, right? I Googled a lot of them and I couldn't find the solution. So let's go back to my Proximus 192 and then I'll just enter in the password for my Proximus and then we see. So one of the ways you can also do is that you can just go to the Proximus, go to the shell and then you can see that I have my Proximus already open. I can now come back here. Apologies for the noise. And then I can just go with my sudo. I'm already in sudo, but I can just go with my EFI boot menu, right? So there is an EFI boot menu, as you can see, which allows us to be able to see um, boot manager, right? Dash V. And then this one shows, this is going to show you the order of the priority. So we see the order of the boot, right? So we have zero one for Kali, which is what it was set. We have 000 for DPN, 004 for DPN itself, that's for Proxmox, and then 003 for Windows, right? So this is the order that has been set. So this is one of the ways. So you can use this option here to see the order, and then you can also set the order with this. As we saw in our message, you can also do the order setting like we had here. So EFT Boot Manager dash o you specify the order so xss yyyaa which is the name for these ones this particular name here right so this is what you set so in case you want to set it you use that command i showed you here right to be able to set it so that is how to fix that issue so you can use this approach to fix the menu grab menu and then you can use this approach to set the boot order and then the final one is that sometimes if you do this it will not work so you have to go to the bios and then change it so thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you have learned something